have it here. So we have a look at um, bipolar transistor followers. A little bit more detail. Let's get into it. So here we have our um, small power transistor and um, our little test setup here. So we'll go through a few scenarios with the follower. So this is um, got a 3.3 kilo ohm resistor from the um, emitter to ground and um, it has a 100 ohm load and then here we see the incoming signal and the outgoing signal and we immediately see that this is probably not exactly what we intended from the perspective of voltage so we see that the voltage level is lower than what our input is and it's even more than the half a volt difference one would expect due to the diode between the um, base and emitter. Plus the thing is that the input wave looks a bit, a little bit distorted. So, um, what could be the issue with this then? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. There's a lot of wires here. Yeah. Ah, wait. Actually, the transistor has no power, so the collector is not fed with power. So I'm going to give it 15 volts. See what happens. So now we've now given it 15 volts, and here we can see that the um, curve is following the input signal. The input signal has now corrected itself, so it's not under any. Now that we put power to the transistor, it's not loading the input signal, so it gets distorted, so it's fine. But then the output signal, oh, that's still really strange. So it's getting like <coughs> half-wave rectification with a little bit extra on it to the diode in the um, between the base and the emitter. <coughs> so what could be the issue with this then? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh. okay, has it something to do with the fact that we have a ground plane, which is zero volts, and then we're feeding it with 15 volts. But the input signal, this is actually plus minus. So here, this, this um, curve here drops down into the negative side. So let's see if that will be the case. So um, let's um, try and change the offset here. Oh, look, now we're getting more of the signal. So I'm giving it a DC offset. Yeah, there it seems to be appearing. Uh-huh. Wow, there, now we got it. Oh, that, that's, that looks more like it's supposed to be. So that's um, five and a half volts DC offset. And, um, whoops. Boom! Now I disconnected the power again. And as you see here, again you get the same phenomenon. So you get reduced the amplitude. So it can't handle the load. And we put the 15 volts back, and then it can handle the load very well. So what's happened here is that when you use this transistor in this configuration as a follower, then um, and you actually have the source voltage connected, then um, it's actually um, appears that it has a reduced impedance in the um, output side, so it can actually handle this 100 ohm load quite well. But um, the, the issue is still remaining that, that one has to generate this um, DC offset to be able to use this um, configuration. And then, of course, you know, you say, oh, you know, just throw in a capacitor, um, like I indicated in a previous video, and a um, voltage uh, divider using resistors. But the, the nasty thing about that is it will change your input impedance to be higher. So that will be, um, no, sorry, lower. So um, that will um, not be so good when it comes to loading the circuit. Ah, for example, loading the signal generator. So how do you work around that then? So I've... Um, powering the circuit with plus minus 10 volts and um, one would of course expect that the um, full signal would 
appear at the output, but I'm still using the ground as a reference for the load. So it's important to remember to actually move the, the, um, the load reference also to minus 10. So then you can get this full curve. So that's how you avoid clipping or one of the other, actually the, from an impedance perspective the best way to avoid clipping is to use a plus minus um, power supply as a source. So anyway the last follower to look at is a um, push-pull solution. So you have an NPN and a PMP connected together like this. And, um, and you get a stronger, a stronger follower. But um, here's the incoming waveform, here's the outgoing waveform. As you see, there's a little bit of a problem there, I think. So let's um, have a look at. No, no, I think the best would be to show it like this. So anyway, here we see the drawback of this um, push-pull circuit, that it actually um, gets influenced here in the transition area by the fact that you have these two diodes, so you lose, lose some voltage. Uh, but there are, are methods to deal with that, so uh, this is actually, the uh, I would say, one of the most common um, circuits you'll find in a typical real-life follower so solution that's uh, usually these these NPN PMP uh, combination so anyway, I hope you found that um, informative uh, please consider subscribing uh, hit the like button if you thought the video was worth it uh, merch is available or if you just like to buy me a cup of coffee the links are in the comments uh, all the contributions will go towards developing the channel more projects and uh, I'll see you in the next one.